Hello guys and girls, I'm Tony Freeman and you're watching Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition Episode 5. In Episode 4, we stopped at the tip of this lake and we we're about to go to find the Master of Horses. We have the, uh, a ram right here. As you recall, we, we are supposed to kill lots and lots of them. One down. Yeah, one down. But it's, it's for a good cause, so I guess it's okay. Ram leather, ram meat. We have a, um, a landmark here. Tell the tale of. Uh, yeah, let's 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 not waste time reading this. You can always just pause the video if you want and, and read. Okay, more ramps. Even an outlaw. I don't know exactly where where to go from here. I see a I see a house here. So. Oh, and another ram. Good, good, good. This time is actually the uh, the uh, slaughter of the rams is actually justified. So um, yeah. Anyway, let's loot up. It's for hunger. It's for uh, for hungry people. So it is it is justified. Okay, let's see what do we have here. chest a very rare dps dagger we don't really have right now someone who can use this uh, this dagger so we won't we won't really keep it gold lost us we want to keep it until uh, until we we find the rogue who can uh, who can take advantage of this dagger okay so Looks like an empty house. The Orlesian Empire. There are many lords and ladies in Val Royal, and I mean this literally. Once, the system of noble titles in Orlais was labyrinthine. There were barons and baronesses and baronets and sir barons and a horde of others, each with its own origins and its own nuances of comparison. The Orlesian aristocracy is ancient and much given to competition. All the nobility play the grand game, as it's known, whether they wish to or not. It's a game of reputation and patronage, where moves are made with rumors and scandal, and scandal is the chief weapon. No gentle game, this. More blood has been drawn as a result of the grand game than any war the Orlesian have fought. Of this, I am assured by almost every gentleman here. As far as titles went, everything changed with the coming of Emperor Dracon who established the Orlesian Empire as it exists now, and who created the Chantry. There is no more venerated figure in Orlais. In Val Royal, the statue of Dragon stands as tall as the statue of Andraste. Dragon determined that the grand game was tearing Orlais apart, so he abolished all titles besides his own and Lord and Lady. I am told, with some twittering amusement, that this action did not end the grand game as Dragon had intended. Now. The lords and ladies collected unofficial titles rather than official ones, such as the exalted patron of Tassus Clay or uncle to the champion of Tramps. It is a headache to remember such titles, and one winces to think of the poor doorman at the balls who must rattle them off as each guest enters the room. The aristocracy is different from Ferelden in other ways as well. The Orlesians' right to rule stem directly from the maker. There exists neither the concept of rule by merit, nor the slightest notion of rebellion. If one is not noble, one aspires to be, or at least aspires to be in the good graces of a noble, and is ever watching for a way to enter the patronage of those better placed in the grand game. And then there are the masks, and the cosmetics. I have not seen so much pain since the canals at High Hiver, but that is another story. Um, I, I read this whole thing because it's about uh, Varroyo and it's, uh, it's actually a pretty interesting piece of lore. If it's needed, I'm just gonna provide the link and you can skip, uh, so you can, as you watch the video, you can just skip the, the lores. Now let's see, where is this horse... Uh, horseman? Oh, okay. So, right here. Okay. Ah, 
I think I hear fighting, so I'm pretty sure we would we will have to join whether we like it or not. Yeah. More mages fighting Templars. And us of course. Oh. That's the second time that uh, Sephra is low on health, so I think the Templars are getting a little bit stronger now. Oh, and we got an item last time around, which I think I'm gonna use on the tank. Inventory, we got an amulet, um, accessories, life worth amulet. When a blow is about to drop a character's health below zero, the amulet shatters and heals the character for the specified amount. I'm gonna use it for the for the tank for Cassandra. And as it states, it will destroy itself as soon as it uh, as it's used. Let's see where where to go. Okay. I think we also have some sort of uh, quest here. We must be ready. No, no, this is too much. <laughs> and I'm skipping randomly some things I read, some things I don't read until I get uh, more clear answer. Should I read everything? Should I not read everything? I, I really don't know. Okay, let's try to use our wallet just in case. Oh, they immediately shattered it. This is not. Uh, it's a bad thing. But we can always line of sight them, hiding behind uh, hiding behind solid walls. It's a uh, it's a good way to just avoid taking damage. I think that's the, the last enemy. And we're almost three out of eight potions, so this will uh, this could prove a problem if we if we don't find a camp soon to replenish. This is not a. Okay, broken bridge. That's about it. Let's see where is the that can. Oh, and we have a quest here. Okay, let's see. We have a letter. Take it back, take it back, take it back. And find notes written by our own sleeping hand. I don't. I have no idea what what that means. I could check, but uh, let's just let's just focus on the task at hand. I did promise the last time around that we would do less uh, less side quests. This master of course is actually an important quest. The package has lost somewhere in the river. Yeah, it's an important quest, as I said, the master of horses, because it. Uh, it gives us the ability to gain a horse, which of course will help us travel much faster. Oh damn! Oh, as you can see, they were trying to go for me. So I can't really afford to fight that wolf right now. Simply because I am low on potions and I need those potions for the for the tank. I don't want to use them to replenish my own health, since she will she will most likely need it way more than me. Okay. 
Okay. They should hit hard, don't they? But I think we actually kill them all. No Ooh. normal wolf would fight with such determination. The breach may have driven them mad, or perhaps a demon took command of the pack. Okay, so what we what we hear here is that these wolves are possessed. As you can see here, we are looting Kenna in letter, which is the tire one common letter. The I will explain what uh, what all this means when we actually get back into our uh, stronghold. We would uh, we will make a video just about crafting and about different uh, different schematics that we pick up. Basically, you can craft your own gear and uh, just make stuff, make uh, weapons, armors, everything, everything that you need, even potions. And that's uh, that's a very good thing here. This would make a good place to camp. Yeah, definitely. Nothing to report, sir. Good, good. Okay, I think we actually reached uh, reached our destination. I see a quest here. I'm not gonna. This must be the horse master. Yeah. <laughs> it looks. Uh, it looks like it's closed. I think Barry can open it. Death hand, fine tools. Oh, okay. So he will need. Um, he will need some forks to be able to open that. Fair enough. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Here you're trying to bring order back. It's high time someone did. Never thought it'd be one of you big brutes, though. Name's Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. If you have a problem with me personally, I'd like to know about it. What? I've got no quarrel with the Canari. No idea how you ride without your feet dragging on the ground. But that's between you and the mount. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bronze in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plowneg they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Mount the horse. Okay. And, of course, speak with Elena. I heard what my man said. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade and they run. These beasts, though, it's like dark spawn during the blight, or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. Farewell. Good day to you. All right. We got our first quest, and let's pick up the the second one. Then we can we can get to our horse. Oh, it appears he was in the barn. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. If you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts, good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there, I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. Farewell. Alright, so um, this vid and probably the next one will be focused mostly on 
getting up our uh, watchtowers and just helping other people. For now, let's let's mount. Okay. Press shift to gallop. The equal equal sign to dismount. Quality. Uh, Trying out one of my courses. What kind of racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You try to ride the course before I call time. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time, I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. Okay, we got ourselves a little bit of horse racing. This is the coal mound. Okay. And let's see. Okay, I think this is the this is the way. The way to do it is just simply pass through those uh, wooden pillars, like a gate. It seems the horse can just gallop a lot. It doesn't. It doesn't tire that easily. The next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. So it seems we have more, more than just one race, in order to complete this quest. Okay. I think it's to the left. Right here. Apparently triggered, but uh, I hope we can just outrun it. As you can see on the right side, we have time remaining for the course. We don't have time to fight the demons right now. But we will, we will get to them sooner or later. Actually, we almost ran out of ran out of time. Nicely done. Fancy another race? Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stakes straight away. She certainly moves fast with those stakes. Okay, so it's left here. Whoa. And to the right side, mages and templars fighting. Fade it, activating again. And... Oh. Am I on the correct track? No, no I'm not. Damn it. Oh, why? I think we may lose this one. I'm not sure yet.
if we if we do lose, which is uh, which is likely likely to happen, I really hope we get to restart from this race and not start all uh, all of them all of them all over again from the first one. Man, so little time remaining. Pure luck, pure luck. All this horse riding reminds me of Assassin's Creed. That was one, one fun game. Okay, uh, we said we're gonna we're gonna seal the seal this rip first. Let's go to the landmark. As you can see, every time we mount up, we move a lot faster, which which helps us uh, very much. But also our party disappears. Because obviously they don't have uh, forces of their own, so they can't really follow us. Okay, let's dismount and fight them. There are lesser terrors and raids. If you remember from our last encounter with lesser terrors, they knock back and deal a ton of damage to us. So we need to keep uh, we need to keep moving, we need to keep running. Usually I would focus on the raids because they actually do even more damage than the lesser terrors. But it's so hard to do that when uh, when those guys just keep popping under your party and uh, knocking you of them. should face them faster next time. Back. It actually it actually caught me while I was face stepping away so You can always avoid, you can always try to avoid the lesser terrors. Well, let's use a potion. Although I think it's actually Yeah, we, we close it. As I said, you can always try to avoid the lesser terrors. If you see the green circles on the ground, just move away from them, but sometimes it's just not possible. Charging ball. Charging ball is actually an ability that Cassandra does have. So I'm going to keep her ring and see what it does. Inventory. Cassandra. You can find the rings under accessories. She doesn't have whirlwind, but she does have charging ball. Increases her ability damage by 30%. As you can see, she has two ring placements, so place for two, two abilities if you want. The amulet has already been used. And of course we don't really have belts or other stuff. Oh! Which reminds me, let's see if we have any armor, any new armor. Yeah, this one is 68 armor rating. As you know from the first feed, you have a comparison tooltip. On the left side is the new item, the item that you have in the inventory. And on the right side is the item that the character has equipped. So we will just drag over the 68 armor rating. Temper helmet, she doesn't have... Any, anything better. As for weapons, restriction rogue only, so she can't use the, the dagger. She has the raider's hatchet. And as for the shield, is the is the best one currently. Okay. 
Solas. Let's see if Solas go gain any discipline. Disciple Fire Staff is better than what he has. So we will use this one. For me, I'm still uh, I still have Staff of the Dragon. Pretty sure it's, it's good enough. As well is the the armor. Light armor of the dragon from the deluxe edition of the Dragon Age. Claim. Let's see what. Uh... Okay, I think I think we can read this one. I don't care if it's the best land on the farm. The farmers remember the old ways and the old blood, and will honor that. Just as I honor you, twisting the old horseshoe nails into circles and sneaking them into the horse's shadows for luck. If the farmers want to leave that, that tree to honor, Tirda's leaf-eared lover, we'll let it be, and whatever we lose from the land will gain loyalty. If I come back and find the tree gone, and you and Bron blustering some story about it falling in a storm, I'll get the truth from Sienna, and you'll be sleeping in those tables you love so much. All my love, Elena. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, we have an Astrarium. Let's go really quick. I think it's actually the first Astrarium that we reach. Oh, and the ram, of course. Of course, no, no, no. You're not going anywhere. You're gonna feed all these hungry people. People fighting, more people fighting. I don't know if we should intervene or not. Let's let's not. Let's just go to the Australian if it's possible. Oh, I don't think they're gonna let us. No, no. Okay, fair enough. Let's give them what they want. Okay. Okay, ho, ho. I'm just trying to avoid getting hit by anything right now. We have a ram here. To be honest, that ram is more important to me than those mages, so... Oh my, he ran away. Who are they fighting? Oh, more... Yeah, we, we haven't... We didn't finish our fight with the mages. The apostates have fled to the hills. Let them. I don't care. It can't properly be called a war any longer. It's a free-for-all. Mages against Templars against everyone. Yeah, they fight. Cassandra is right. Ring of critical chance. And a scout's mail. Uh, let's let's use those items pretty quick. Really quick. Accessories. I'm gonna take the No, no, I'm gonna give it to Varric. Ring of critical chance, and I'm gonna give his armor as well. Because I think it's medium. And it's better, it's far better than what he has. Although he loses like two cunning or something, but it's not at this point it's not really that much. Okay, we, we could we could finish really quick a quest here. I don't know how much time do we have though. Let's see. Yeah, we have about five more minutes of, uh, of game time. Gameplay. As I told you before in the in the last bit, I'm trying to keep the leads no more no longer than 30, maybe 40 minutes. Just because one hour is just it's such a it has such a huge commitment from the viewer. To just sit there and watch one hour of game time. Gameplay, I'm sorry. No matter how interesting it is. Okay. Oh, and the bear. This, this guy is actually level 8. Uh, 
alarm. We should stop the beat right here. And I think I, I will. I will stop it right after killing the bear. And we'll continue our quest in the, in the next one. Oh my. As you can see by the number 8, he is a few levels above us. So he dies. I mean, he can probably solo kill the tank. If Cassandra would fight him alone, she would probably die. Just because he's so high level compared to her. No, oh, I don't want to bounty boss. Kunari trained only. Critical chance and cunning. I think this is a helmet for me. Inventory, armor. Yeah. Oh! Ha! Oh my! This looks really good. I wasn't. Hey, 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 hey. But it didn't equip for some reason. Oh, I need. I think I need to drop it. Okay. Let's uh, let's see this guy once more. Oh yeah, this looks way better than what we have. And let's just uh, let's just complete this quest really really quick. I think we need to deliver something, something, something to our left. I don't know. Here maybe? Okay. Okay! That's it, loot. Wow. Cunning Emily defense. This is very good for Varric. We also completed the quest. We're gonna keep very really really quick with this new if we can of course let's see where it is carta coat much better and yeah that's about it let's let's stop the lead right here as always if you like like or dislike uh, comment subscribe if you haven't already I'm Tony Freeman, I wish you a beautiful day and thank you for watching.